Come on now, you know you want one. Everything fits in the back of the car really nicely and I've still got seven usable seats in the back of my car. This is my medieval style handcut that I made just a few weeks ago. I've been testing it out over the last couple of weeks. Unfortunately, a very hot day here in Brisbane, Australia. Oh, sweating quite a bit already and it's not even seven o'clock in the morning. It's approximately eight feet long or 2.4 meters and approximately three feet wide or 1.2 meters. And the deck length is about 1.2. I find this absolutely fine. This works, uh, this is designed for medieval reenactment events and SCA events, LARP events, cosplay, that kind of stuff. This isn't strictly medieval and I'm not portraying this strictly as a medieval item. There are a couple of areas I've cheated on. If we take another look at the wheels we can see that they're made of sections. So there's what six different sections here and each section is actually held in by wooden pegs. We'll see how that works. You'll see this is a bare wooden tread, so to speak. So there's no steel rim. Steel rims were used in the Roman period in chariots and that kind of thing, uh, but not in the medieval period and definitely not for peasants. However, I may eventually put some steel rings on the actual wheel hubs themselves because that'll help hold the wood together. In such a humid environment, it unfortunately expands and contracts the wood all the time and that does tend to crack. And unfortunately, given such an expensive item, I can't really afford that. What's really interesting about the wheels here, they're not actually quite symmetrical and the things weren't in the medieval period. They weren't perfect. We have this weird obsession today about everything has to be perfectly symmetrical. It just wasn't the case in history. The main section that I've cheated on really is these. These are modern bolts. I had to use those so that I could collapse the cart and put it into the back of the car. It makes it very, very easy to deconstruct and reconstruct and I can do the whole thing in approximately five minutes tops by myself, which I think is fantastic. Other than that, these slats here are held on by wood, but that just helps uh, stop stuff from falling out. When you're at a reenactment event, especially as a visitor, it's great to be able to have food in a cooler or an esky as we call it here in Australia. Uh, cold drinks, that kind of stuff. It can be a very expensive day out if you're not careful. And this year I'm taking like about 15 to 20 people. You know, I, I want to be a bit mindful of money. Other than that, being able to hang a water bottle off the side is fantastic. Uh, these kind of carts are fantastic, absolutely great for uh, just being able to pack up and go. Uh, and be able to support a bunch of people. So I can put like about a 60 litre esky on this thing, a, a 60 litre cooler. Um, I've got 
room for cloaks for everybody. I've got room for hoods and cold weather gear plus food. Um, it's, it's just a really great item to have and it sacrifices just about no space in my car. So this is a really, really, really good item to have. The turning circle for one of these is really quite small. A cart like this would have been fantastically useful to most medieval peasants. Most people in the medieval period lived in rural communities, about 95 or so percent, give or take. That's the estimates from historians anyway. Most people would have raised livestock or grown crops that then would have been sold at market to the weekend. Many years ago, I lived in a small town called Market Harbour in Leicestershire. So if I lived in somewhere, say, like Little Bowden, which is the five miles away or so, something like this would be perfect. I could put all my stuff in there for market, a market tent, go into market, sell my stuff, and go home again the same day or perhaps the following day. If it was a case I had to go home the next day, then the cart actually forms a bit of a sort of temporary shelter. And that's a really fantastic benefit of something like this. course push or pull a cart just like this. Pushing and pull or pulling the cart seem to work very different muscle groups so it's really good if you're on a day out and uh, you're getting a bit fatigued. like this is not necessarily a small investment by any means definitely a good one though something like this should last me about 20 or so years it's made out of Tasmanian oak it's a nice hardwood it works really well very easy to do it's taken me like about a fortnight or so but the wheels themselves I had to get specially made by someone and that cost me a bit of extra money but otherwise it's a very straightforward project to do definitely worth it Alrighty guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share and I will catch you in my next video.